Our team is frequently asked to compare bring your own device or BYOD rooms and Microsoft Teams rooms. Common questions are, what are the differences? What are the advantages and disadvantages? And how can I get the best of both worlds? I'm sitting in a conference room that's built to be a bring your own device space. In this room, I have to plug in the USB and HDMI cables into my laptop and then manipulate the touch panel in order to start BYOD mode. Once I do that, I gain access to the microphones, speakers, camera, and display in the room. The biggest advantage to this room is its flexibility. I can run any video conferencing software that I have on my computer, and I have access to the full range of features. The big disadvantage is that my laptop becomes the brains of the room, meaning that I'm tying up that laptop for the meeting room software. So I need to make sure that I come in a little bit ahead of time before the meeting starts, plug in, get set up, and then I can't leave until everyone wants to be done with the conversation, even if that conversation doesn't involve me. Or if I have to leave early, there's no way for me to do that without ending the meeting for everyone else. The other disadvantage is that it requires some configuration both on the touch panel and in the actual application, meaning that I might have to change my microphone and speakers when I get into this room, when I move to my next meeting space, and perhaps when I get back to my desk. I'm back in front of a Microsoft Teams room. In this room, the camera, speakers, microphones, and display are all connected to a PC whose only job is to run the Microsoft Teams room software. This means that the room is always set up and ready for collaboration, no configuration needed. To start a meeting, all I need to do is book the room ahead of time and press the join button on the correct meeting. With direct guest join enabled, I can even join the meeting scheduled on certain other platforms. The downside is that this doesn't work with every other platform, and you're not going to get the native capabilities of each one of those other platforms. This is where native MTRs with BYOD capabilities come in. Available from several manufacturers, these BYOD add-on devices allow you to plug in an HDMI and USB cable, like we saw in the other room, or maybe just a single USB into your device to give you that BYOD capability. This really does give you the best of both worlds because it's bringing together the unique features and ease of use of an MTR along with the flexibility of a BYOD room in the same system. One last feature that I wanna talk about is the ability to bring your own meeting through proximity join. Let's say that I was invited to a Teams meeting that I was gonna take from my laptop or maybe my phone and for whatever reason, I've decided that I need to take that from an MTR. I can walk into that physical space, start the meeting from my device, but choose to use the audio and video from the room system instead. You can even control the room system from your mobile device if you'd like. If you want more detailed information or want to see exactly how these systems operate, reach out and one of us will be happy to walk through it with you.